Greetings Orlando, my name is Leslie Dunner and I have been a music director finalist with the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra. It has been an extraordinary week for me this week being here in town. I've had a wonderful opportunity to meet many different parts of the community, first of which is this great orchestra that you have. The orchestra played with great vitality and vigor. We had a program that was challenging both musically and dramatically, starting with the work of Samuel Barber, his second essay for orchestra, the violin concerto of Jan Sibelius, and the symphony number no. four of Carl Nielsen, his inextinguishable. And the orchestra's performance was exactly that, inextinguishable. Our soloist, Rima Bergewan Langwa, gave us a brilliant showing of this very, very stark landscape and how the human passion, the human soul, and the spirit of human life can work as a force no matter what sort of natural environment we have. Many people came to speak with me afterwards to tell me how much they were moved by the performance and the interpretation and the, the sheer sound and power of the orchestra. I was very pleased and privileged to have been a part of that. In working here with the organization, I had an opportunity to also meet with the board of directors in addition to the search committee, and I was very, very much impressed with their commitment to partnership and to transparency. That's something that's very important to me. In working with the different committees and the staff, I got to learn more about the people here involved with the Orlando Philharmonic. Everybody brings to their task passion and friendliness. This is a very friendly city, and it seems that everybody that I encountered with the Orlando Philharmonic carries that, that character and that quality that I found so prevalent in walking around the city. I've had a little bit of opportunity to go and see some of the city of Orlando. I love it here. It is absolutely a beautiful place. I love the location within Florida in that it is not on either coast so that you have equal access to both coasts. And the weather being from Chicago is phenomenal. I absolutely love being here. I also had a chance to meet art leaders who had a, a, a very strong sense of conviction about their projects. And the orchestra seems to have a very strong interest in partnership with different organizations in the community. Also with regard to outreach, not just with children, but with different demographic communities. And that's something that I also have a strong interest in. I had a chance through two of our friends from the Friends of the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra to go visit Eatonville, for example and learn about the rich African-American culture here. And indeed, this city has the oldest African-American population within the United States. And so I am very proud to have been able to be here and go through that part of the city and learn about that heritage. And I would look forward to being able to come and embrace more activities with them. During my time with the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra, I had an opportunity to meet with and be hosted by many members of the Friends of the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra. This is a very important component and arm of, of the organization, not just in terms of fundraising, but in terms of activities and support for the organization, and also within a social context. Many of my hosts during my daily routines here were members of the Friends. They took me around, introduced me to different people, explained different venues, including the new Plaza Live, which is fantastic, and also in the DPAC Center, the Dr. Phillips Center. They're very different, but both facilities offer a wealth of opportunities to expand upon what the organization is already doing in its promotion of new music, of partnership, and of working with educators and education. And speaking of education, within the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra, there is a wonderful director of education, Leah Barrett, who I had an opportunity to speak with on a number of occasions. She has really created a program that is far reaching here in her few years with the organization. And the number of students that have come through and the way that the musicians have worked with the students has been very impressive. I look forward to partnering with her and expanding upon the already wonderful job that she's doing. We made during my visit here, a visit to the Arnold Palmer Hospital, where we had an opportunity to have a parade, in essence, of musicians and go through the wards and have an opportunity for some of the children who are not so mobile to hear live music. It was wonderful for me to see how well the musicians interacted with the patients. We had a young patient who was actually going around with us with a portable IV, and it was quite impressive to see how this young lady who was going through chemotherapy was able to champion this cause of partnership. 
It is wonderful to see that the Orlando Philharmonic has also embraced within their mission the performance and presentation of operatic works. I have a very strong interest in opera and a strong background in opera, and one of my major interests is in working on partnerships in creating new operatic works and presenting less performed operatic works in addition to chamber opera. Things that audiences will find very interesting, new, different, innovative, diverse, maybe to a certain degree youth-directed, meaning young people, young professionals, those who are new to this genre, so that they can come in and feel that we are also embracing them. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to be here with the Orlando Philharmonic, the patrons, the staff, the supporting organizations, and all of the city here in welcoming me as your guest. Thank you very much. It's been a real pleasure and an honor.